on page 16, we'll look at the top of the learning curve and the leadership skills required. When your family has grown, the cycle does not stop. You'll still have influence in your adult children's lives. They'll still look to you for leadership and counsel. There will come a day when you reach your senior years that your ability to handle life situations may not be as good as they were when you were younger. It is at this time that you will learn how good a leader you were to your children and how well you developed your children to accept responsibilities and reach the level four stage. It will determine how well you can depend on them to make good leadership decisions when you need their help. The bottom line is, be nice to your children while they're growing up because you will need them later in life. At level four, one's leadership skills change to share authority. You go from being a mentor to a consultant. They are considered your equal. They will have talents and abilities that you do not have. One spouse would be considered a level four. You may delegate authority at this level, yet you cannot delegate responsibility. Remember, not all adults have level four awareness and ability. The individual has proven their skill level. At this level, the leader establishes guidelines and shares visions. Give them some space and let them solve the problem by providing autonomy, like strategic planning. At level four, the phlegmatic style of leadership comes into action. They have the natural ability of planning and organizing. You may remember that one of the phlegmatic weak points is that they can be procrastinators. They never get around to it. You'll have to help them by giving them around to it. The phlegmatic and the cleric leadership styles need to be teamed together to make a dynamic duel. Together with a plan of action and the incentive to take action, things get done. They are your equal. They have grown into an adult. Remember, their temperament may be different than yours. Temperaments were passed down through the DNA chain of the family heritage. They have strength that you do not have. It takes all four temperaments to make a successful family. One of the biggest failures that a leader can make at level four is to forget who they are. Level four people want independence, but do not want to be left entirely alone. Be supportive. Ask how you can give support. Just because they can do their job does not mean you abandon them. People who feel abandoned feel that you don't care. Schedule one-on-one -on -one feedback sessions. And don't forget to show recognition for their accomplishments. Having looked at the awareness and the ability level of an individual and having applied the correct leadership, we find that we can reach the goal. We also see that it takes more time and effort on the part of a leader to reach the goal with an A1 individual than an A4. When we apply the L4 leadership to the awareness and ability of an A1 individual, we find there is a large gap which will cause failure. At level two, if you apply the participative leadership, you will find there is still a gap that will cause errors. When using the coaching leadership with a A3 individual, there is the potential for being too picky. Coaching is still important, yet demanding greater progress 
in developing one's skills may cause frustration. When the directive leadership is used with an A4 individual, you are wasting their time. They have the ability and the confidence to accomplish the task on their own. We have seen how and when to use each style of leadership. However, your dominant temperament will drive your leadership tendencies. It's kind of like getting a hammer as a Christmas gift. Everything now seems to look like a nail to be driven. One's natural gift is the same way. We see everything through our temperament. The question is, as a member of the family, where are you on the learning curve? Have you reached level four, that of able and willing? Families are like teams. The reason that you have a winning team or family is because of the ability of the coach and the players. All of the members on a successful team or family have level four ability and are working towards one goal. There are five elements that make up a good team or family. Here are the five elements that are required if a team or family is to be successful. Have a common goal. Understand the relationship to other members of the family or team. Be competent. Have a sense of belonging. Be recognized for contributing to the team or family. The family has the common goal of making each member successful, which is unity. Each member must realize the position they play in the family. Understand the responsibility to look out for the welfare of each individual in the family. Each member of the family has a sense of security, knowing that the other members are looking out for their welfare as well. And last is the reward for helping all family members become successful. When leadership is applied correctly, all the pieces to a successful family puzzle are on the table. To view the Notebook on Life series, visit us on the web at www.christianvisualarts.com.